The purpose of this video is to go over Chapter 3 in the Proposal Writing Book, Effective Grantmanship for Funding by Coley and Schreinberg. Uh, so Chapter 3 is about finding and applying for funding. Uh, so we talked a little bit about this before, but there are several different types of funders out there or ways for you to bring in money to the organization. Um, there's the federal government, there's the state and local government. Local can include city or county, depending on your state, sort of how it works out. There are also f private foundations or corporate funding, and there's crowd search, crowd uh, crowdsourcing, excuse me, crowdsourcing, uh, and then there's also just Google. You can kind of Google random organizations that might provide funding. So the federal funding, uh, usually you hear the most about that. However, applying for federal funding through, say, grants.gov is incredibly challenging. There's a lot of regulations. You really have to have some experience to do that. But nonetheless, for all funders, they'll provide something that's called the RFP, the Request for Proposal. And that really is the instructions. It's the application packet. It talks about the rationale for the funding, what their goals and objectives are. It provides you um, or links to what are all the forms that you need to fill out. And for the government, you have a lot of forms that you need to fill out. There's also a website called the federalregister.gov. And that website provides sort of a brief on the grant. So sort of a one page kind of notice for that grant and that provides some helpful information. So when we think about the federal government and we go to grants.gov and we're looking for funding, it's not just the federal government. There's usually departments within the federal government uh, that we can, we can also go to their website. So an example would be the Department of Health and Human Services. And so you could go to their website in addition and look for federal funding through that. Um, the other thing is on page 19, table 3.2, they talk about how you can apply for funding. You have to sort of jump through some hoops. You have to register with what's called Dunn and Bradstreet, and um, that's sort of a credit uh, registry for businesses. So uh, you have to do that. And then there's SAM, it's also called System Award Management, and there's some other things that you have to sort of apply there in order to do the grant with the federal government. Um, we've mentioned before, there's a, some information from your organization that you need to move forward with the grant writing. So things like organizational charts, who's the board of directors, your 990 form for the organization, or the 990 for your competitor, uh, that might provide some information. You have state and local governments. So you could go to the state website um, and look for funding there. Uh, some states like Pennsylvania, they're very county-based. So for example, if you want to do some sort of drug and alcohol grant, you'll go to the county. So Millersville University is in Lancaster County, so we would go to the Lancaster County Drug and Alcohol Commission and look at their website or make friends with people there to figure out what the grants are. Um, we talked previously that you can find grants off grants.gov, but there's also commercially based websites where you can pay a subscription fee in order to search grants in one location instead of broadly searching, you know, 20 different companies. And one of those is called grantwatch.gov, or excuse me, grantwatch.com. There's a whole bunch of them out there, but that's just one example. Okay. Um, also, foundations and corporations, so Gates Foundation, if you're looking for, you know, they provide a lot of technology or education grants, and so you can go to that website specifically, but usually foundations and corporate grants are significantly smaller than the government, so you could get, you know, a $5 million grant for the government for these uh, corporations, maybe you only get a $5,000 grant. So if you're a small organization or you're new to grant writing, that's a great way to go to kind of get your feet wet in terms of grant writing. Um, the other thing too to keep in mind when we're talking about how much money you get, um, there it also depends on how many years you get that money, right? So if it's a billion dollar grant spread out over five years, that's not much. Uh, so what is the funding cycle? Is it every year? Is it every five years? That makes a difference. Um, crowdsourcing. This is super popular. There's Indigo, Kickstarter, um, and a whole bunch of other crowdsourcing websites. This is kind of a fad, and a lot of people do it to try to raise money sometimes for personal reasons, but most people don't make that much money through crowdsurfing. You have to sort of combine 
a whole bunch of factors, including sort of a social media knowledge, um, a cause that people care about, you know, a 90 second video where we're pulling on your heartstrings. You have to have a social media presence. If you don't have a social media presence, meaning you're not on Facebook, Instagram, Snap, Twitter, and you're active and you have followers and people respond to you, all that kind of stuff. If you don't have that, crowd surfing is not going to work for you. Um, you need to source someone who has all that experience that's, that's active in social media because then they can share it with a whole bunch of people. Uh, but again, there has to be like a 60 second or a 90 second video that just pulls on people's heartstrings like, I don't know, people love cats, right? So a cat video. Um, that's something. And there's tons of examples out there. The other thing is you could just Google uh, looking for grants as well. And so that is chapter three, finding and applying for funding.